premium microphone preamps and converters, pristine headphone and monitor outputs, and access to an entire collection of industry-grade software plugins. We're taking a look at the Universal Audio Arrow. It's a two-channel, four-output audio interface from Universal Audio meant for bedroom producers and on-the-go music creation. It connects to your Mac or PC via a Thunderbolt 3 connection, so that means you don't need any other power supplies or cables, and that means you can use it practically anywhere with your laptop. Here's an overview of the Arrow. It's a little gray box with buttons, meters, and a knob. It's pretty compact. Here's my iPhone 7 Plus for comparison. And it's not too heavy even though it's made mostly of metal. It's got two combo XLR mic and line inputs, a pair of quarter inch master outputs, an instrument input for plugging a guitar in, and a headphone output. The face of the unit has two level meters, one for the mic, line, or high Z inputs, and another for the headphone and monitor outputs. It also has buttons for input select, whether mic or line, a high-pass filter, phantom power, pad, face, and stereo link for simultaneously adjusting the level of both input channels. There are also preamp and monitor buttons, which let you select which level the knob is adjusting. It also comes with its own console software that lets you make adjustments within your computer, allowing you to add effects to the audio that's going into your system. Okay, now let's talk about how you control the Arrow interface. You're able to adjust the input of the mic, line, or hi z inputs via the knob on the Arrow. You do this by pressing the preamp button and cycling through the available inputs, mic 1, mic 2, line 1, line 2, or hi z You're also able to adjust the volume of the outputs via the same knob, but this time you have to press the monitor button. This lets you adjust the level of the headphone or the monitor output. It can be a bit confusing using at first, especially when you're adjusting the level of your inputs and then you've got to switch on over to adjust the output. But when you get the hang of it, it becomes a second nature. Now let's talk about the plugins. Universal Audio is revered for its excellent vintage outboard gear, but they're also well known in DJ producer spaces for their plugin emulations of analog equipment called UAD powered plugins. They're called that because they are powered by a special processor that's found on Universal Audio interfaces such as the Apollo, which I've got behind me, as well as the Arrow, of course. What this does is it takes on the task of audio effect processing when using the UAD plugins, leaving your computer's processor free to do other stuff. The company has digital versions of tons of processors and recording gear. EQs from popular companies like Neve, API, and SSL. You've also got reverbs, delays, limiters, mastering gear, auto-tune, and so on. Apart from the plugins, one of the coolest things about the Arrow is its built-in unison preamps. These special preamps provide a clean, transparent signal for your inputs. And the real magic lies in how the Arrow processes that clean, transparent signal. Just like the hardware processing emulations mentioned earlier, you've also got preamp emulations of some of the greatest mic preamps in history, allowing you to get that colored sound of recording through these mic pre's. The Arrow comes with the UA610B preamp, which provides a nice fat sound to vocals. We are also able to test the Manly Voxbox, which is an all-in-one vocal processor that includes a preamp, EQ, and a de -esser. And it's a powerful tool that more advanced DJ producers will love to use when tracking vocals. Now, I've been using Universal Audio Gear for almost a decade now. I started using the UAD plugins back when I was still running running my commercial studio facility, and I always loved the sound that I got from them. Now that I do more electronic music production work at home in my project studio, I needed a high quality interface that, you know, wasn't too big. And the Arrow fits that bill perfectly. If you're a bedroom DJ producer and you'd want to take your music production more seriously, stepping up with a universal audio interface like this is a good idea because of the input and output options that you're given, and it also lets you step into the wonderful and addictive world of universal audio analog emulations, which really are some of the best plugins you can get today. Watch your wallet though, these plugins don't come in cheap. 
expect to pay from 99 bucks for you know the more basic EQs and compressors and upwards of $200 for the more prestigious brands. The Arrow is not as cheap as a Focusrite or M Audio interface, but the sound and build quality plus access to the UAD plugins are worth the price of admission. The only drawback is that it's only got a single processing core on board and you'll quickly learn that you need some more when you begin mixing your project, especially if it's a larger and more complicated one. Good thing you can add more UAD cards as needed. Overall, a great high quality interface that rivals many mid-range devices. We highly recommend it. So that's it for this short talk through of the Universal Audio Arrow. I've got the full review of it over on the Digital DJ Tips site. The link is in the description box below. Hit the thumbs up and like buttons and share this with your online friends and even your enemies. My name is Joey. Thank you so much for watching this. I'm going to see you next time.